Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, you know what? I am so excited. I have a very cool story to share with you all. So it has to do with it just like that. First of all, can you believe <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving that's just like that? I mean, you guys have sent me so many articles. I love them. Please keep them coming. You're making my day with these. So many crazy things to come out. I'm still reeling over the Sarah Jessica Parker of it all. Like, we don't want Kim Control. No, we don't want you. Uh, <laughs> just cracking me up. Thank you guys for sending me that. But you, I just had to tell you this crazy thing that just happened. You might hear the glee and giddiness in my voice. Let me tell you why. The coolest thing happened today. You guys, you know I love podcasts. And there is one that I absolutely love. It's called We Love to Hate Everything. Let me tell you why you have to check out this podcast. You guys, I'm freaking out. So it's Jody and Amanda, and they are hilarious. They are like, you know how you you listen to these podcasts and you think, God, I want to be friends with these people. Like they say everything I'm thinking. They keep it real. They make me laugh. They are awesome. And they do a lot of like 90 day fiance stuff, sister wives. I've never even really watched too much sister wives, but they do such a good job. I've actually found myself sitting down to watch so I could see what they were talking about. You guys, it's fabulous. This isn't me just plugging them. I'm going somewhere with the story. It's so funny. Okay. So Jody and Amanda. So they did this episode, episode 36. We love to hate everything. Okay. You have to download this episode. You have to subscribe to them. They are so funny. They talk all about... So the first part of the episode is all about 90 Day Fiance, which if you're into that, they do fabulous recaps of that. Um, I've dipped my toe into that. I like 90 Day the other way, but I still love to listen to what they have to say about this. But the second part of the episode is so funny. They go into it just like that. All the things that we're thinking, all the things we've been saying... They have these special guests on there. Usually it's just the two of them. This episode, they have Colin Drucker from Best Supporting Podcast. They also have Justine Elizabeth from The Shore Store on this one. Okay, the reason I'm talking about all this and where I'm going with the story. So here I am, grocery shopping, minding my own business, except for I'm laughing hysterically at this podcast as I'm listening to it. And they're doing such a good job recapping, to saying all the things that we think about and just like that. And I really, I'm going to play parts for you, but I want you to go download it and listen for yourself. It's it's great. But um, you guys, I freaked out because at the end, they talk about this channel. I'm a huge fan of theirs. I had no idea that this happens. And they start talking about Real Housewives recaps and I... My mind is blown. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I am thrilled. So here's what I thought. First of all, we love to hate everything. Jody, Amanda, thank you so much. Colin, thank you. Justine, thank you. I appreciate it. So what I wanted to do is, again, say thank you. And and I want to play a little bit of this and laugh along with it and kind of talk about our reaction to some of it. I want you to go listen to the full episode on We Love to Hate Everything. Uh, if you're into Patreon, I do recommend their Patreon. It's fabulous. But if you just want to listen to the main show, I get that too. Check them out. You'll dig their sense of humor. But I just can't even believe that they were talking about Real Housewives recaps. I was in Sam's. I screamed. <laughs> I shrieked a little bit. I hit record. I had to send it to Jay and say, oh my God, oh my God, you know. It's just the coolest thing ever. I mean, just imagine one of your favorite podcasts. You're listening along and they start talking about you. It was the most surreal moment. I can't even believe it. I came home. I freaked out. And here we are. So <laughs> how exciting. Future Jen here, still freaking out over this. I can't even believe what a fantastic day it's been, you guys. I messaged Jody and Amanda and guess what? I think I want to be on their podcast. I can't even believe it. So as soon as I have the details of that, you better believe I'll be sharing them. We will be celebrating. Uh, yeah, I just can't even. I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys. So exciting. Okay, I've talked enough. Let's listen to their podcast and laugh along with them. And then we'll go hit that subscribe button and download the episode and give it a full listen. But here's some some of my favorite parts. Hey, bartender, can you give me a shot? <laughs> Let me take the mic, guys. 
So this is Jody. She's, of course, one of the hosts along with the, Amanda, and she's hilarious. She is, she's being Che Diaz here. So we're going to get started right here. And then, uh, the, of course, you'll hear Amanda. <laughs> it's me, Che Diaz. <sighs> well, the room just suddenly got quiet. <laughs> well, you mentioned Che Diaz, and then, you know, the, the air just goes oh. out of the room. And this is Amanda, one of the other hosts of the show, my new best friend. Hi, Amanda. We got nervous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Careful. All right, well, our very special guests are here. We have Colin Drucker and Justine Elizabeth. It's such I a agree. fun show to watch. Like, it literally, like, no pun intended, <laughs> I love to hate it. Like, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think if it was just, like, a good show, like, if it was just, like, one of the better seasons of Sex in the City, I'd now, in retrospect, I think I would be disappointed because I love what this last 10 weeks has been. This so again, that's Colin talking. That's their guest. And ah, I couldn't agree more. This last 10 weeks has been incredible. I mean, the community we have built of hate watching. I've never hate watched anything like this before. And you know what? I blame the writers. It's written so poorly. It brought us all together. So <laughs> it just I just love this community we've built. You guys are so amazing and so much fun. And I just can't believe how many friends I've made because of this monstrosity they've put in front of us. Like yeah. pop cultural movement of, hey, it's Che Diaz. And just like all of the obscenely ridiculous plot points and moments in the show that like, I feel like we're being trolled. Yep, that's exactly what it is. I feel like we're all being tr trolled by Michael Patrick Dickhead. But we're not. And so I kind of love how I'm still not it. sure that we're not being trolled about it, though, because I <laughs> yeah, swear, I, know, I, I is, swear I they listen, <laughs> they listen to your guys' yeah. episodes and like go back and re-edit it. Like, I swear they have to do that. Well, because I mean, if you look at the Che Diaz scene from this week, they they oh. let her go out, them go out on a banger. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the what's all of the most obnoxious things that Che could do? Yes, that's exactly what I've been saying. It's like the the most obnoxious combination. I have never watched anything like this before, and I don't know what the hell they wanted us to do with Che. I. Are we supposed to think they are the coolest person in the whole world? Are we supposed to be envious of the Che Miranda r romance? Like, where are we? Uh, it's the same thing I've been saying. Where the hell are they going with that? What are they thinking? And let's have them do huh. it in this last episode. Absolutely. Yeah. But we were not subjected to their stand up, <sighs> their <God>. comedy <laughs> concert. Uh, I felt like that was to your point, Justine. It was like they were like, let's edit in yes. where Che knows their comedy's bad. And then they're going to sing California Girls. Exactly. So, joke. I think you guys are being too kind and giving the writers too much credit. I don't think Che knew their comedy was bad. I just don't. I know they were making jokes on stage, but I think that they thought that they were being very funny and joking like, I'm not going to subject you to my stand-up this time. Instead, I'm going to sing. They clearly couldn't get the rights to Katy Perry, California Girls. <laughs> Beach right, Boys, right, I think, right. is a little more accessible. <laughs> oh. yeah. And I Kissed a Girl would have been a little too on the nose. So. Oh, careful. Right. Uh, careful. Okay, I, yeah. I, I was talking about Miranda. I was talking about Miranda. <laughs> we, won't, we won't say it anymore. Sorry. <laughs> but Sarah Ramirez can sing, so let's have them sing. So that was fine. But they also gave mm -hmm. her this song that did nothing for her. It was this yeah. low kind of monotone. And I was like, this sounds fine, I guess. That's exactly what it is. I, you know, I've gotten so many comments from people saying that they, you know, said it can off. She sang beautifully on Grey's Anatomy, but that, that I didn't even click it together. I just thought, oh, Che Diaz is so annoying. I can't with the singing even, but that's what it is. They gave them the most boring performance and monotone delivery or something i oh it's such a load of pants oh that was them actually singing yeah but sarah ramirez oh. is like has a, an amazingly fierce voice it's unbelievable so you should see it's pretty up. unremarkable it because the song kinda... it doesn't do anything it's just i wish they all could be california girls <laughs> but amanda's performance right there had more personality to it than chase did that's the difference P.S. I'm going to go put on a mother of a bride dress and a gray wig, and I'm going to go cheer along to Amanda's rendition of this song. Shot, 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 shot. 
Yeah, what? take what? take a shot every time Miranda says, "Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going. No, I don't know. I don't know what's going on." And that <laughs> wig is just holding on for dear life. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, wig. <laughs> Okay. And I always thought that I was the only person that noticed the teeth situation. I was like, oh, for no. somebody who's on TV, her teeth are pretty whack. Oh my gosh, you guys, teeth. <laughs> you, know, you know I have to, t- teeth, teeth. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They're not as bad in the original lipstick series. On, I think she had lipstick on her teeth when she was talking to <laughs> Naya, the teacher. So I'm kicking myself because I know exactly what Jody's talking about. I noticed it too, and I'm pretty sure she's right. I think she had lipstick on her teeth, maybe. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> teeth. Probably. They looked, it looked like there was a little bit of red on the front teeth. Oh, you know, it's a yeah. character thing. Miranda would have lipstick on her teeth, you know? Yeah. When Miranda walks into Naya's office, she's like, you know Miranda Hobbs doesn't get an A-. And Naya's like, ooh, somebody's in a sassy mood today. (laughs) She didn't say anything. (laughs) Right, right. (laughs) And, like, what a weird situation to say to the professor who would be grading you. Oh, I don't get A-. I was like, I think this is a conflict of interest. (laughs) Their whole relationship is. I started thinking that when she left the office, I was like, Wait, like she probably does have to give her an A. Like, could could she give her a C? Because I think like, I got so drunk drunk weird. Like, I know you're like right. deepest darkest secrets. I know right. your ovulation timing. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm laughing along so hard I forget to pause and react to it. But that's <laughs> I know your ovulation timing. I can't even like recover from that. But that's exactly what I was saying. Like, that's a weird relationship. It's a weird relationship to have with your professor. Yeah, I know you don't see? actually want a kid. I can tell your yeah, husband that right, right now. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. gay material to me, Naya. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump ahead to another part that I really enjoyed. Again, I really want you to go listen to the thing in its entirety. It's hilarious. You will love listening to it. Listen to this. I mean, they're in stitches over these jokes. Uh, well, I got one. T- I, I got I can beat all of you. And I was like, don't say my husband's dead. Don't say my husband's dead. I was like, say the post-it. Say That's what I thought she was going to say. Honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or say like any of the millions of guys that broke, like have broken up with you for some reason. So I don't know if I talked about it on one of my episodes or not, but I can say it here. That was the most commented thing I got. There's usually like a theme every episode that's, that people tend to throw a lot of comments about unifyingly like the most commented thing on that last episode is what about burger and the post-it note why is she saying my husband's dead that's not breaking up that's him dying (laughs) what about burger i got so many comments on that and i loved every single one of them thank you for that and nope my husband died and then i said on the group chat she could have break up. She could have still talked about big breaking up with her because he's broken up with her in a hundred. Yeah, I got left at dying. the altar. Yeah, yeah, I got left at the altar. I beat him in the street with a bouquet of flowers. Right. <laughs> or I killed him in the shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't call nine one. Yeah, that was more her yeah. breaking up with him, kind of, huh? Oh my god, I'm dying. I love that. That's more her breaking up with him. That's true. She. Pretty much let him just die right there in the shower while she stared at him longingly across the room. <laughs> wow. I'm just so excited. I love this episode so much. I didn't even cover 10% of the things that they talk about. So you've got to go listen. Uh, hit that subscribe button for them and, you know, leave them the good reviews. Mention Real Housewives Recaps, whatever you want to do. But they're fabulous. Again, Amanda, Jody, you have made my day. Um, I didn't even play it. At the very end, they do talk about Real Housewives recaps. So give it a listen because uh, I just can't even believe it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for everything. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. It was so much fun just re-listening to this and telling you about my crazy day. But um, thank you for everything. If you didn't see it, I've been posting episodes of Mannequin. So fabulous Kim Cattrall 80s movie. Check that out. I broke it up into three parts. I released part one on Tuesday. I'm releasing the other two parts. I got the other, I got the next part of the Sex and the City movie coming out on Thursday. Lots of episodes of the writer's room where they talk about the finale. (laughs) You better believe I have some thoughts on that. 
So much stuff coming up. I got another Dirty John episode coming out. Hopefully I'll be on We Love to Hate Everything. So check that out as well. I still got Justice for Steve merch. I survived and just like that. All that stuff. So check that out. And if you're into Patreon, we're having a good time over there. Going back through the original Sex and the City series. And yeah, thank you guys so much for everything. Have a fabulous week. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.